Good morning, Syringa Vikings. It is Mrs. Bullock. It is March the 9th, and my story for this month is called Who Wants Arthur? It is by Amanda Graham. Who Wants Arthur? Arthur was a very ordinary dog. He lived in Mrs. Humber's pet shop with many other animals. But Arthur was the only dog. All the other dogs had been sold because dogs were very popular. All the dogs except Arthur. He was just an ordinary brown dog. And all he wanted was a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. On Monday morning, Mrs. Humbler put some rabbits in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty, except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog today. Everybody wanted rabbits. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practiced being a rabbit. Look at that. Look at all those rabbits. He practiced eating carrots. He practiced poking out his front teeth and making his ears stand up straight. He practiced very hard until he was sure he could be a rabbit. The next morning, Mrs. Humbler puts some snakes in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one that who acted like a rabbit. Everyone wanted snakes. So that night, when all was quiet, Arthur practiced being a snake. He practiced hissing and slithering and sliding and looking cool. He practiced very hard until he was sure he could be a snake. Look at Arthur. The next morning, Mrs. Humbler put some fish in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty except for Arthur. Nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit and a snake. Everybody wanted a fish, so that night when all was quiet, Arthur practiced being a fish. Oh my gosh, look at all those fish. Look at all those fish. He practiced swimming and blowing bubbles and breathing underwater. He practiced very hard until he was sure he could be a fish. Oh, look at Arthur. The next morning, Mrs. Humbler put some cats in the window. By the end of the day, the window was empty. Except for Arthur, nobody wanted an ordinary brown dog, not even one who acted like a rabbit and a snake and a fish. Everybody wants cats. Arthur felt he, he would never find a home with a pair of old slippers to chew. Look at Arthur in the fish bowl. Oh, Arthur, he's just not fitting in. The next morning, Mrs. Humbler put the rest of her pets in the window. There were two hamsters, a cage of mice, three canaries, a blue parakeet, a green frog, and one sleepy lizard. And Arthur, look at all those animals. Oh. Arthur jumped on lily pads, squeaked and nibbled cheese. He purred, croaked, and even tried to fly. By the end of the day, the window was empty except for Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Look at him. Arthur was all worn out. He collapsed in the corner of the window. Now he was sure he would never find a home, whether he was a rabbit, a snake, a fish, a cat, or a purple spotted three-headed donkey. Arthur decided that he might as well just be an ordinary brown dog. Oh, look at Arthur.
Late that afternoon, Mrs. Humler was just about to close the shop. In came a little girl with her grandpa. Excuse me, said the grandpa. Melanie tells me that you have a very special dog who performs all sorts of tricks. The only dog I have, replied Mrs. Humbler, is Arthur. <gasps> Look at There he is, Grandpa, in the window, cried Melanie. She rushed to pick up Arthur. He gave her the biggest, wettest, doggiest lick ever. At last, Arthur knew he had found a home. <gasps> oh, look at Melanie and Arthur. Oh. With a pair of old slippers to chew. <gasps> Arthur is so happy. He did find his home.